What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. This is Blowing the Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as introduce our new smoker friends to the cigar lifestyle. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the like button. Automatically enter yourself into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month, I pick out a couple of sticks, I print up a couple of shirts, I send them directly to your house. I'm excited to blow another boutique blend. Straight out of Ezra Zion collection, this is the ice cream sandwich. Shout out to Ashes, the cigar lounge out of Austin, Texas for providing the five pack. Good looking out, Miss Yvonne. And yes, we're about to get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends and blowing the budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. Today we're blowing something exclusive from the Ezra Zion collection. This is the ice cream sandwich. Mmm, right out the gate. A little sweet, a little spicy. Yeah, this is a nice introduction. Oh, look at the sheen, look at the construction. Definitely a beautifully handcrafted cigar. If you've done any of the Ezra Zion collection, uh, you may be familiar with the chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. Out the gate. I'm getting a rich chocolate, uh, creamy texture on my retro hell. Picking up a little bit of cinnamon on that retro hell as well. This is just getting into it, so we're not even approaching it, but we're getting into that first third. We're gonna see everything that this ice cream sandwich is all about. So far, it's a pleasant introduction. Uh, the flavor profile is mild right now, starting out. Don't know what the rest of this stick is all about, but I'm kind of enjoying the introduction. This is definitely pleasant on the retro hill. You can almost dragon hail uh, this, meaning you can actually puff and retrohale continuously without a burning sensation in your nostrils. For those that don't know what a dragon hail is, I'm not sure if this is something everybody's doing, but this is what I call a dragon hail. All you're doing is completely puffing and retro hailing straight out of your nose. There is no sensation. Uh, there's a pepper tinge that you get if you do too much. But of course, the retro hail kind of introduces uh, some nutmeg to the mix. Um, we started out with some cinnamon at the beginning. And again, we're just getting into the first third, first portion of the burn. And you can see it's, it's an even consistent burn. I definitely would say that's a good burn. Um, the draw. Hmm. Nice return on the draw. It's a nice puff. It's a smooth smoke. Um, you're expecting it to be like a, a full body flavor profile, but everything is just likely there. There's a light cinnamon. There's a light nutmeg uh, on the dragon hill. You can get a light pepper tinge. So this is a stick that's actually begging for a little bit more. But again, we're just getting into this first third, so I can only imagine what the halfway and the last third smoke like. So sit tight. We're about to get through this whole stick with you. This is blowing a budget. All 
right, y'all, we just walking down to the first third. Getting introduced to this ice cream sandwich by Ezra Zion. Uh, this is a Korea 98 wrapper. And that's the best information I can get for you. The binder and filler have become a close guarded secret. And of course, there's not much information on that. But I can tell you that the binder and filler have both been aged between 8 and 11 years. So it's definitely a mature combination in the ice cream sandwich. I said it before, boutique blends is where the real magic happens, okay? You can, you can like your big box brands. However, sophisticated palettes require a little bit more complicated blend uh, styles and more bolder tobacco flavors. This definitely falls in the category of unique uh, combinations. Um, you're getting a little creaminess, you're getting a little vanilla, you're getting uh, some nutmeg, some cinnamon. Uh, there's a lot of flavor combinations just happening in the beginning third. So again, I can only imagine what this is gonna taste like through the half. And if you can look close, it's not very much sheen. However, there is a light gloss, if you can see that. I'm not quite sure if I got the focus in right, but it is some gloss there. It's not like sheen, but it's a very well-crafted cigar. Uh, it does have some bounce to it. However, there is some tightness as well. There is uh, maybe two veins in the whole stick. And Definitely recommend this ice cream sandwich. I'm enjoying this one even into the first third. So let's see what the rest of it smoke like. Look, I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy as well as those that I don't. This Ezra Zion ice cream sandwich on the other hand, is definitely an enjoyable on the way to work, morning stick, or after dinner dessert, chilling on the patio at a fire. However you enjoy the cigar lifestyle, make sure you do you. Let's not take this shit too serious. Well, y'all, we lost the ash, and we approach a half, coming into the last portion of the first third, and we're getting some wood coming through on the retro hail right now, kind of like a, like a cedar, that, that's what I'm, I'm picking up, but it's not exactly like cedar closet cedar. There's a wood flavor that I get on the retro hail, Gives me a little bit of like brown sugar. And of course that might be due to the French vanilla. Not quite sure, but uh, I am sensing that there is some yeah, brown sugar. So y'all, we are approaching half and I'm picking up a different flavor profile right now. Of course you got black pepper that is evident throughout the stick, but it's a subtle black pepper, just a few sprinkles of black pepper here and there. Um, I'm also picking up a woody tone that I can't quite identify. You might have to pull out the flavor wheel to see exactly what that wood flavor is. And through the half, there's an introduction of leather. This is definitely a 
complex flavor combination. There's a lot of different things going on as you get through the stick. However, I'm kind of wanting it to get a little bit stronger as we approach the half and that's just not happening. So of course, that's why I classify this as a dessert stick. I say it all the time. Price is not an indicator of quality. You got some $30 sticks, definitely should go in the box. And then you have some $30 sticks, that should definitely go in the trash. Now of course, the Ezra Zion collection is definitely budget friendly. They average between, I say between nine and $12 each. And of course, you can definitely acquire a five pack if you can get your hands on some. Shout out to Ashes the Cigar Lounge in Austin, Texas for providing my five pack of ice cream sandwiches. Miss Yvonne, thank you so much for this one. Definitely will be checking y'all out again. If you've done the Ezra Zion, anything in the Ezra Zion collection, definitely leave some comments below. Love to talk some shit about the brand. Definitely find out what you think. As we get into this half, shout out to my smoking hot kings and queens. This is a smoking hot pick. They recommended that I try these. And of course, if you have a boutique blend that you want your boy Q to try, definitely leave some comments below. We'll definitely see if we can get some sticks ordered from your favorite boutique. Okay, I think I got it. If milk cream got with the acid 20, they had an ice cream sandwich. That's kind of the profile I'm playing in. I kind of imagine things that I smell with what it may taste like and things that I taste with what I think it should smell like, if that makes sense. So someone peeling an orange in your general vicinity if that's appealing to you, that may make your mouth water. Mom baking cookies or Sunday service pound cake. Y'all know how it go. When grandma making that boy, the house is permeating. When you walk in the door, you can almost taste it. So when you're out venturing, trying new cigars, trying different flavor profiles, try to close your eyes and imagine what you taste through what you smell or what you smell through what you taste if that makes sense now i recommend you let your sticks sit in your box and get acclimated to the temperature and the humidity of your box before enjoying your favorite sticks and of course this one i had to write out the pack so the other four definitely will be sitting for at least two weeks but my excitement wouldn't allow me to let just one more rest. So of course we're doing this one right out the pack. And from the, I guess, mailbox, this is a fresh feeling cigar. It's a fresh tasting cigar. This is not a cigar that has been sitting in the humidor for weeks or months. This is definitely a moist, slow burning stick. As you can tell, we are almost approaching the last third, getting through the half. And I've been burning this technically for about 40 minutes already. Of course, with the magic of editing, we're gonna try to shorten this down to a smoke break at work or a lunch break. Ezra Zion is available through many of your online retailers or you can reach them directly at Ezra Zion Cigars. I did a video for the top boutiques that I'm dealing with for online ordering. Check that video out. Since their debut in 2012, Ezra Zion has solidified themselves as a must-have 
boutique bling with numerous accolades and top 25 cigar ratings by Half Wheel. Definitely, Ezra Zion is on its way to becoming the next big thing. They pride themselves in the small batch game. So this ice cream sandwich was only 570 in production. We don't know if that's sticks, bundles, or packs. All right, y'all, we'll get into that last third. And of course, I'm gonna have to disagree with their flavor profile rating, I guess. They classify this as a medium to full when all I'm getting is straight medium. It's not ramping up. The flavors want to do something kind of like pulling that lawnmower chain and it just won't start. It's, it, it wants to do something. You're yearning for it to do something more than what is happening with the stick. But of course, the flavors that you experience are specifically that. If you notice nutmeg and cinnamon, you're gonna get nutmeg and cinnamon. If you can pick up the wood or you can pick up the brown sugar, you'll definitely get those tones. Um, leather is actually getting a little bit stronger as we get into the last third, but outside of that, the changes are very pleasant, very good transitions. However, you kind of want the stick to get a little stronger. And that's just not happening with the ice cream sandwich. But it is a good smoke nonetheless. I definitely will be smoking these again. I'm excited that I have four more left aging in the box. And I can only look forward to these sticks maturing over the next two weeks. This cigar lifestyle is about you doing what you enjoy. If you smoking the sweet stuff, or the strong stuff, or your expensive stuff, or the cheap stuff, make sure you're doing what's enjoyable for you. Let's not take this smoker shit too seriously. <clears throat> We're getting into the last third and approaching the home stretch. Not quite done with the session, but we are approaching nonetheless. Shout out to Ashes Cigar Lounge in Austin, Texas for providing the five pack. Also want to shout out my Smoking Hot Divas for re recommending this five pack. This is definitely a Smoking Hot pick to add to the box. This is definitely an enjoyable stick. I would recommend this for anybody that is willing to experiment and step outside of their normal flavor comfort zone. This is definitely a good introduction to the medium body profile. Well, y'all, it looks like we are reaching the end of our session. This was a damn good smoke. Definitely a smooth, cool smoke. Wasn't hot. If you can look, is a consistent burn even still through the last portion. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of Blowing the Budget. Check out some boutique blends at your local brick and mortar. You will definitely be pleased with what you find. This is your boy Q Morgan in the building. And as always, whatever you're doing in this cigar lifestyle, Make sure you keep it smoking. Mm. Peace out.